by... Are those babies? Yes, those... Oh my god, it scared the fucking hell out of me. So, I want to actually go and actually explore a different island. We got a big island over there. We're going to have to do some killing, so I'm good. We'll bring our spears. Um, I need to go around and make cloth because I want to make a sleeping bag. So, I'm hoping that we have enough young palms and stuff like that around that it's going to allow us to make the cloth that we require. So, I honestly don't think we have enough... cloth in our boxes and stuff over there that we looted so um, we're just gonna have to see what we can do now I did get a reply from one of you guys just saying that there's always at least one PP on the starting island um, that is not the case at least on console I haven't done a lot of playthrough time on PC but I have not a little evil bastards um, had that particular um, Luxury, that's a good word for it. Um, luxury on uh, on our console playthrough. So all of our stuff here, and its sun is going to be setting soon. So um, hopefully in the morning when we wake up, honestly, um, probably going to be better. Let's see if the fruit is here. Fruit. Oh wait, no, that's a coconut. All right, so let's go because I really. Man, I would really love to take our raft, but uh, I'm, I will need to make a ton of rope in order to make an anchor for our small little, uh, our little raft there. Okay, where is my stuff? It's over here, isn't it? I believe I only found one piece of cloth, and we have five palm. Okay, so we're we're not going to make it here. We do have enough barrels to make one more platform. Oh, I hate little crabs, guys. Alright, so, well, the sun is going to set, so I'm just going to fart around camp. And uh, once the sun sets, I'm going to go to sleep and get up and do my whole thing. Oh, wow. We have work to do. Fill up our canteen. There we go. Let that go. All right, guys. So it is the next day. I went ahead and had breakfast and then went all the way around the island to look for stuff. Only had enough to make two pieces of cloth. So we're one thing of cloth short. Um, before we leave, I want to go ahead and check out our crops. You know, it looks like... The corrugated farming plot actually holds water better and is actually doing much better than the plank, which I guess makes sense. All right, so we're going to go ahead and grab our spears. Um, we still need to be cautious because obviously we don't have antidote just yet because it's still growing. But the object, so let's grab all this. So no sleeping bag just yet. Unless, of course, I can find cloth, which, of course, I cannot. Okay. Give me this. Put this with the flashlights. I mean, honestly, how many flashlights do we need? So let's grab that. All right. Um, butthead. All right, so I say, you think we should look for the shark? I think we should look for the shark. Let's just make sure he's not lurking before we go. Uh, make sure we're safe here. No poisoning, nothing yet. All right, let's look. That's a baby shark. So.
So let's just kind of sit back here in our shark perch. Um, if he's around, he's going to show up. I don't know... Uh, wow, that just ooh, flips my stomach. It just drops off. I kind of would like one point just to like go down and see how far it goes. See what's down there. All right. Um, actually, it looks like we're going to be okay. All right. Let's go ahead and go back. And uh, let's grab our little rubber dinghy and get ourselves to an island. So we're going to go to a bigger island today. Um, we really need to get resources. And I want to loot some ships. So we got a couple things of water. Let's stop by and see if any of it has regenerated just yet. All right. So we can put another drink in here. Cool. And all right. Well, we're going to be screwed when we get back. But all right. So I guess that's the island we're going to because the dinghy is over here. And I don't feel like messing with it. Now, which way is the, the water is going towards the island, so it's going to be a pain in the butt to get out. Okay, well, that's cool. Good to know. Oh, bloody freaking paddle again, guys. Are you kidding? I got it out here with no hitch. Yeah, paddles. <laughs> that's getting... I don't know when that started. I have never had that issue. I feel like the mechanics for this rubber raft really... They need to... They need to work on this, man. There we go. Let's go. This way. Now let's see if we can get out of here without a shark flipping us over. Which is always my issue. So it looks like the shark has actually left us alone. And uh, we're coming up on the island. Um, immediately I don't see any wrecks. But that doesn't mean that there's nothing below the surface. Um, one thing did occur to me that uh, if we come across fish or boar or night snake or anything like that that we're going to need to kill, uh, I forgot to bring a knife. So if that happens, we're actually going to need to make a knife and deal with it that way. Let's kind of swing over here, look at this wreck immediately. Okay, so there's something in there. All right, I like that. All right, uh, let's go on shore. I fully expect there, in the very least, to be snakes. I feel like what's the point of putting this paddle on the raft? Can I? All right. Put you right there. Wow. Two tarps right off the bat, guys. Drop that. Oh, we got some stone. So let's start picking that up. And let's grab this. Just to be safe, let's go over here and uh, snatch this up. There we go. Jerry can, electrical parts, and fuel filter. 
This is ours. So we're going to drop that right there. Nice. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep the rock on me. All right. Let's look around cautiously here. I see a little evil crab and the wavula. Wavula plant. I know I probably butchered it and you guys are cracking up. I have no idea what how to pronounce it. I will take that peepee -pee though. Heck yeah. Alright, well, uh start grabbing some of these young palms. Oh, there is a wreck under the water right there. Thought I heard a damn snake. I'm gonna turn up the uh sound here. So looking immediately around, I am not encountering any kind of enemy, snakes or otherwise, yet. Feeling pretty good about this. Alright, we have little porkers here. I wonder if there's a mama porker. So let's move to the outs. Oh, there's a fucking snake right there. I knew it. Come here, buddy. How did I miss that? Got him. So just drop him right there for now. Let's move around. There's a mama. She's going to be really aggressive. And it's getting dark. We got the snake. There could be more. All right. Not a whole lot in the way of wrecks and stuff here. Stones for days. All right. Well, uh, dang, that day went super fast. I guess we're going to camp on the beach for a little bit. All right, so I am actually sitting on our raft uh, waiting for the sun to come up. But before the sun comes up and we continue on. Now, if you remember, we came from this direction and we did not see any wrecks at all. We saw that one, just a little bit of a mass kind of popping out of the water over in that direction. And uh, we're definitely going to be checking that out today. But... This was actually a tip from a viewer, and sir, I forgot your name, and I did not look it up, so I absolutely apologize, but he did say that it's easier to spot bubbles for sunken wrecks at night, and you can certainly tell right here. Now, we completely missed this on the way here, but easily I can see it here. So this is just a tip for you guys before the sun comes up. All right, so I think the sun is high enough. Let's go ahead and check this out. I know it's just beyond this red, and we want to be careful to make sure we do not get poisoned. Now, I saw the bubbles. Oh, there's a snake. Oh, and a lionfish. Where did we see? Proceed with caution. I don't see anything over here, man. We saw the bubbles. I don't see the content that just drops. Oh, shit. No. 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 Oh, I feel like he's chasing me. All right, um, let me try one more thing here, guys. And then if we do not find it, we are out of here. So let's head to this direction over here. Uh, there's a baby shark. I was more inclined to believe that it's over there by, are those babies? Yes, those, oh my God, it scared the fucking hell out of me. 
<laughs> oh, it's a big one. Ooh, battle. Let's go, buddy. I know you want to come up here. Let's go. Let's go down. Ooh, is this the one that bit us? The hammerhead? Yeah. I don't know what the hell shark that is, but it's going down. Look at that. Isn't that a weird nose? Where are you at? I lost sight of him. Where are you at? See if we can bait him back. Kind of go out a little bit. Come on. I think I've missed every single throw. <laughs> little pain in the butt. Come on. What kind of shark is that? Yeah, baby. Come on. Oh, don't get stuck, because I will use it to my benefit. I don't feel like my oxygen fills up enough if I just dip up real quick. What is that? What is that? Hey. Gotcha. We're out of spears. <laughs> Come here. Wait, let me have my spears. If I can grab them. I feel like I should have grabbed that. Yeah. Wait. Come back. Oh, a goblin shark. Ah shit. Ah shit. Leave me alone. Wait, let me get my stuff. <laughs> Come here. Damn it. He took me far. Alright. Uh, I threw a spear over here. Threw a lot of spears that I missed. Oh, it's going to storm, bro. No, I can't see. All right. We're actually bleeding again. 
That's pretty awesome. Yeah, bleeding. I don't have a bandage. But I am going to make some spears, man, because this goblin shark is going down, down, down. God, I hope I don't get poisoned. Well, no. We're going to bleed to death. Damn it. No bandage. I wonder if I could actually hunt. Oh, not very well. It is dark and nasty. Where is this? Goblin shark? We are, jeez. Totally gonna bleed to death. But, never say surrender. Damn, he left. Yeah, it's too uh, hectic. That's unfortunate. Oh, wow. All right, guys. We are in quite the predicament, but uh, we will probably end up bleeding to death on this island. And in the next episode, we'll be respawned back to day six. And we'll end up doing it all over again, but we will know what to expect. Anyways, I am Granddaddy Gamer. Thank you so much for tuning in, and you all have an awesome day.